by Hal Barnes and mostly members of the Bel Air Square Cats. Well, good evening. It, it seems very appropriate to have us on after the prayer. Um, the, uh, our square dancing that we do is called Modern Western Square Dancing. And it evolved in the early 1950s from traditional square dancing. So what we'd like to do to you tonight is to show you what square dancing looked like in the 1930s and the 1940s, the traditional square dancing. So that's what we would like to do a little bit this evening. The, um, here's an interesting piece of trivia. What is the oldest club that's currently dancing in the Baltimore, Washington area? Now the MBSDF was formed 52 years ago, and there are still two clubs in it that were the original members, the Starlighters and the Susquehanna Swingers. However, the winner is the Tuesday Night Dance Group that meets in Northwest DC. They were formed in 1938, and they have been doing traditional dancing all these 75 years. We are very pleased to have the president of that group with us this evening, Will and Diana Wright, would you guys stand up and let people welcome you? <laughs> Square dancing, in the traditional sense, had two very different flavors. There was the Eastern flavor that went along with the Contra that was pretty disciplined. There was the Western flavor that was like the Texas hoedown, and it was just wild and crazy. Okay, and so they were very different personalities. One of the big proponents of the Eastern square dancing was Henry Ford. Now Henry Ford got really interested in square dancing when in 1923, he and his wife went to the Wayside Inn in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and Benjamin Lovett was teaching dances there, square dancing. And they fell in love with square dancing. And Henry Ford came up to Mr. Lovett and he said, Mr. Lovett, I've got a job for you in Dearborn, Michigan. I would like to fund your, your dance activity. And Mr. Lovett said, I'm sorry, I have got a contract with this resort. Henry Ford was not used to being told no, so he bought the resort, went to Mr. Lovett and said, I own your contract, there's a job waiting for you in Dearborn, Michigan. So he moved to Michigan and spent the rest of his career doing dancing with Mr. Ford. And that they hired an orchestra and he put out square dance records under the Henry Ford label. I have one of those records, it's a real collector's item. In 1929, Henry Ford put out a book of square dances called Good Morning, The Reawakening of the American Folk Dance. In that book, there was a kind of dancing that hadn't been seen during the Civil War days, and that was the singing quadrille that became our singing call. One of the most popular singing quadrilles was called Marching Through Georgia, and it referred to Sherman marching through Georgia during the Civil War. Now, obviously, this dance was much more popular in the north than in the south. <laughs> now, one of the things that's distinctive about traditional dancing is couple number one does something, and then couple number two will do something, and then three, and then four, okay? So we would like to show you what, uh, what Marching Through Georgia, which is an example of a, a singing quadrille, uh, looks like. Okay. You have to do a sound check on that. Whoops. Right. Plug it in, I'm sure it will work much better. <laughs> mm. Well, honor to your partner and to your corners all, circle to the left. We'll go walking around the hall, circle to the right, go the other way fast. So you get home while we go marching through Georgia. Go, so go your corner. Do I know your partner? Take her from me. You promenade around that ring till you get back home while we go marching to Georgia. First lady promenade. Go inside of the ring. Home you go and swing now. Everybody swing. Promenade in single file. Ladies in the lead. 
while we go marching to Georgia. Hooray! Hooray! Go back the other way. Hooray! Hooray! You're going the wrong way. When you get back home again, swing your partner around while we go marching to Georgia. Second lady promenade. Go inside of the ring. Oh, home we go and I'm swinging. Everybody swinging. Promenade in single file, ladies in the lead. While we go marching to Georgia. Hooray! Hooray! Go back the other way. Hooray! Hooray! You're going the wrong way. When you get back home again, swing your lady round. While we go marching to Georgia. Third lady promenade. Go inside of the ring. Oh, home you go and swing now. Everybody swing. Promenading single file, ladies in the lead. While we go marching to Georgia. Hooray! Hooray! Go back the other way. Hooray! Hooray! You're going the wrong way. When you get back home again, swing your lady round. While we go marching to Georgia. Fourth lady promenade. Go inside of the ring. Get back home and now everybody swing. Promenade single file, ladies in the lead. While we go marching to Georgia. Hooray! Hooray! Go back the other way. Hooray! Hooray! You're going the wrong way. When you get back home again, swing your lady round. While we go marching to Georgia. Bow down to the partner. And back to the corner, that's all. Now, the thing that strikes you about this is it looks really, really simple compared to what we're used to. But let's address that point. It was very accessible. In the traditional dancing, anybody shows up at any social activity they have, and you can do it. You don't need lessons. Even when we turned the corner and became modern Western Square dancing, the list of calls was very small. I took lessons 50 years ago. I took my first lessons in 1963, and it took 10 lessons, and then we were out dancing with the clubs because there weren't that many calls. And because it was so accessible during the late 1950s and early 1960s, there was an explosion of square dancers. Classes would have 20 squares show up, and it was a really heyday time uh, for us. So it was a little bit different context. One of the things in traditional dancing, they're not so reluctant about using different rhythms. So there was waltz quadrilles, and they incorporated shadows and polkas into some of the dancing. So we're going to do a dance that's got a polka built into the singing call. It's called Jesse Polka Square. Well, in the side couples arch and the head couples dive under. You get and you die. Oh, you do not, don't you wonder? Left out of man, put your arm around your partner. A star promenade will do the chest and poke and dance with a heel and a toe. Start the room with jumping as the ladies turn back. We can see your bubble bump and we can dance through the night. And if it were a minute, our hearts are really in it. The chest and poke and dance will watch your corner, girl. When she comes around, you'll take her in your arms, swing her round and round, promenade her home. Keep her for your partner, you promenade back home, till the music starts again. Will the side couples arch, head couples duck under, you dip and you die, if all you go now, don't you wonder. Left that old man, put your arm around your partner, star promenade will do the chest and both his dance with a heel and a toe. Start the room with jumping, the ladies turn back, you can see their bustle bumping, we can dance through the night as if it were a minute. Our hearts are really in it, the chest and both his dance. Oh, watch your corner girl when she comes around. Take her in your arms, swing her round and round, promenade her home. Keep her for your partner, and you promenade back home till the music starts again. Will the side couples arch, 
circle but very elegant at the same time. Now, our square dancing that we do is called modern western square dancing. It came from the western tradition, the wild and crazy part of the family. Probably one of the key players in the western tradition was Lloyd Shaw, also called Happy Shaw. He was the superintendent of schools in the Colorado Springs area for many years. He was a tireless promoter of square dancing. Uh, if people did square dancing, oh yeah, I did that when I was in school, Lloyd Shaw was the one who put it there. Okay, he had a group called the Cheyenne Mountain Dancers that toured the country and gave exhibitions demonstrating square dancing. They were even in a movie. They went up to Hollywood and were part of a movie uh, out there. He, uh, the most significant thing he did, however, was to write a book called Cowboy Dances in which he documented all of the vast majority of the figures done by the, the Texas Hoedown movement. Um, and that, coincidentally, was also put out in 1929, the same year that Henry Ford put his book out. There was a really interesting thing in his book, though. In the beginning of the last chapter, he says, everything before this is something that's traditional and documented, but this chapter is the calls that I invented, and I encourage callers to go out and invent calls. Little did he know that would rocket us right into modern Western square dancing uh, when, when that happened. So we would like to do a Texas hoedown for you. Most of the calls here are calls from his book. One call in particular I'd like you to look for, and that's the do si do B-O-C-E-Y-D-O-E. -E. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the do sa do that's back to back. In fact, it's a figure that was pervasive in the hoedown, and it was basically partner left, corner right, and it finished to the courtesy turn. It became our do paso. And we'll include that in here and you watch for it there. Circle up four. 
two-man turner with a left hand around. Take, take partner by the hand you're not through yet. Ladies jump through for a Harlem Rosette. Spin the star. Then back out and the ladies change. Cross the town. Circle up four, go around. The two-man center with a left hand turner. Taking opposite ladies through yet. Ladies jump through a Harlem Rosette. Spin the star. Then roll out on the east chain, turn her hair. Hey, run to the corner, how about the left, and you don't fall down. Back to the parker, swing your girl. Heads, twirl your leash to the side of the hall. Four lines of three, hits forward, six to six, fall back, and the walks of the men do a no side dope. Right hand high, and the left hand low, you sent that leg into a brand new boat. Forward, six to six, fall back, and the walks of the men do a no side dope. The right hand high, and the left hand low, you sent that leg into a brand new boat. It's forward, six to six, fall back, loads of the men do a no side dope. The right hand high, and the left hand low, you sent that leg into a brand new boat. Forward, six to six, fall back, and the walks of the men do a no side dope. It's right hand high. The left hand lower, run to the corner, man. Yeah, I'm a man left with your left hand turn partner right like a wagon wheel. Here for spin the head star, and then it'll go to the round again. Can't pick up the partner on the round star, from an angle walking around. Now the men back down with the full turn around, the walks in the hand. Put the ladies in, star from the angle the ladies in. Head squeal out like a line of time to come back in behind the side. Side squeal out with a boy and a girl to come back in and make the water swirl. Head squeal out just once more to come back in like it did before. Spread that star way out of the line. Lead man, you don't follow back through. Don't look back, they're following you. Four and three, you follow the lead. Hey, follow back through with the S and D. Point you through, come up for air. Sunny side, we go around the square and circle to the left. Well, all back to the center would be yee And down down low. That's it, we're through. Thank you very much. Let's have another big hand for Al Bond.